Hey guys, Chris Ignato here, and you are watching Nature Now. So, I don't know if you know this about me or not, but I love crabs. I find them to be extremely entertaining creatures. So I've decided to throw together a bit of a compilation video of some of the crab clips I filmed throughout the years. I hope you enjoy it. Look at all these fiddlers. There's a blue one. Look at all those fiddlers, man. There's just tons of them. It's like a meeting, a town meeting. Oh, there's um, a non fiddler right there. You see it? Where? Right yep. I think that's a female. Yeah. Look at there's there's a big guy. See him? I thought those were little flies or something. Look at that little thing. That's so small here. Computer people, tiny. Those little dots are baby crabs. That little dot there is a baby crab. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up. They blended in so well in here. Seriously. Well, I wonder how many hundreds we killed walking out here. Although they're small enough, they might just get compressed into the ground and then bounce back. Awesome little guy. Totally cool and out of focus. Oh, there he is. Now he's in focus. Look at that little guy. Turn really slowly. Look at that. Look at the stripes on his legs. People in the spots. Isn't he cool? Cool little crab. We're in Cape May. Reese said that she'll eat him. I offered 20 bucks and she said she'll eat him for free. No, I didn't. <laughs> cool. Let's get you holding. There you go. Fast. He is fast. That's so cool. I'm gonna take him home. I do too. <laughs> you watch this guy bury himself. Oh God, can you hold my camera? Thank you. This camera's awesome. Look at that. I'm zoomed in pretty good and it's still sharp and it's not grainy. Isn't he cute? I'm going to name him Albert. Albert? Albert. And I will hug him and squeeze him. I'm going to name him Dinner. No! Yep, he's like an hors d'oeuvre. Stick a toothpick in him and we're good to go. He's, Another 300 of those and we'll have a meal. How come I can play with these guys and they're so spider-like? But actual spiders freak me out. I'm so happy. Oh. There he goes. He's kind of like a hamster. How they walk. Going nowhere, going nowhere. She's living on them. Okay, these are all alive. They hitchhike and they have defense, you know, they can live with this guy and feed on whatever he goes through so they don't have to do anything. And, uh, but look at this. I don't want to get in there too much, but look at the, the, here, turn them this way so that the sun can hit them. Okay, stay there. Look at how this, the structure of this. And he's got a claw at the end of each of his appendages. And they have, uh, ten legs just like a lobster and stuff. And look at these vents here, okay? That's really cool. And let's see if we can see his eyes, because this one's alive. We can see the compound eye. This one has debris right over it. And they don't even care, because they rely more on their other senses than they do their vision. It almost looks like part of the Yeah, it does. Okay, 
That's amazing, man. A living horseshoe crab, and it's heavy. It's pretty heavy. Yep. We found some baby horseshoe crabs, and I mean baby. These are larval form. You could probably fit about eight of them on a penny. Yeah, at least. If you if you look, he just flipped over, but you can see those legs moving. Mm -hmm. I don't know how good the video is. Sorry for talking. And he even has a tail. You can see that bottom segment flipped up, like he's trying to do a crunchy. Yeah. So his bottom's facing the camera right now. So I'm going to just gently... Wait. And as you guys know, anything that lays a billion eggs is because of safety in numbers, right? That means that this is a great food source for a lot of creatures. And there's a very high mortality rate. Or else they wouldn't need to lay a thousand eggs in one go. Which is probably a lot more than a thousand eggs. See this little guy crawling along? Look at those compound eyes. Wait. Focus. Yeah, those are the compound dice. They stand out a lot more now because it's in its larval form, which is pretty normal for, the egg, for you to be able to see eyes better when things are babies. He's actually crawling up my skin, relying on that little layer of moisture. Dude, look at the egg. I got an egg and you can see him in it. Tiny little horseshoe crab in his egg. So this is a baby horseshoe crab eggs. Now when the mother lays these, there'll be millions of them and they'll look green in one clutch. And this is what a lot of migratory birds will eat, um, as well as horseshoe crab. Um, you can see them moving in there um, and there's lots of little ones that have already hatched. We'll show you later. Um, and you can see that that fetal movement means he's getting ready to come out into the world and transmission. Hmm. Okay, I found a crab burrow. You can see his tracks all around it, but you can also see that these tracks are pretty fresh because the sand is pretty moist. But it's not often that you have a, a day like this with a bunch of people at the beach and a crab going about. They usually wait till the people are gone to do that. But this guy's obviously been recently active. So that's pretty cool. He goes down many feet down there. So it's cool. Probably goes crab. This one I think is a male because the females will have a larger tail to protect their eggs. And when they'll cover uh, their eggs with their tail, which is right, that little thing right there. And uh, they'll go into the, oh nice. The little creature in there, is that what you were talking about? Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's a, I think that's a gamma or a shrimp. But there's also tube makers that look like that. Um, what happens when these guys want to, when the females want to distribute their eggs, they run into the water you know, a couple inches and they'll bounce up and down and let the, the waves remove the eggs from them and distribute the eggs. Really cool guy. He's got this nice pinkish color going. Now, do you want to look at him some more or should I let him go? Oh, yeah, I want to look at him. You want to look at him? Way to ruin my video. Joe's a video ruiner. See that? That's the guy that ruins my videos. See him? I mean, see his face. Go. Let his face look up so you can identify the guy that ruins videos. See? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You can look at him, dude. No, I don't want him. But oh, look, if, look if, at him uh, filtering. Yeah. Cool. I don't think he's filtering. I don't think he's sitting there right now being like, "I want to eat." I, I hope our bags are good. Okay, here you go. I got pinched by a big one when I was a kid. And I heard, like, a big one. Look at his eyes. Right there. Little eye stalks. Let me uh, go to macro mode. An interesting tidbit about hermit crabs is these guys don't grow, their shell doesn't grow along with them. They literally have to find shells that other creatures create and have, you know, exited the shell. They have to find empty shells as the crab itself gets bigger. Um, so when this crab gets too big, he has to find another shell. He'll fiddle around with it with his, you know, claws and hands and investigate it for a while, making sure it's the right size and shape. And then when all is clear, he'll quickly jump out of the shell and jump into the next shell. He'll actually line up with it so he can do it real fast. And if you have a tank filled with tons of hermit crabs and you've kept them for several months, um, What's pretty fun to do is drop in a new shell 
that's empty. And what will happen is they'll all trade shells real quick. One will jump out into that shell, and then the next guy will... Really? There you go. Look at all those eggs, guys. Okay, so this is a gravid female. We're going to let her go because of her, uh, the way she is. And we're going to show you what it's like when these guys burrow. Ah, oh, so much for that video. And it's gone. So, remember how we made a video of the Atlantic mole crabs about a month ago, uh, laden with eggs? Maybe a bit more than a month. That's cool. So, what is this? This is September now. Look at all those guys. September. Um, and we noticed that the numbers were declining um, as far as adults we were finding on the beach. Remember that? Yeah, the yeah. Beginning and end of summer. So the adults go farther out into the ocean in the fall, but you got just millions of these babies. Millions of them. This has to be a really good staple food source for the birds. And if you look, can I flip it for a minute? If you look on the underside, sorry guy, we won't do this for long. See how it's sticking its tail around? People think that it's used for stabbing people. They actually use that to flip themselves back over. Because as you can see, this is a very vulnerable position. Okay? They've got 10 pairs of legs and two pedipelp type things right here. Horseshoe crabs are ex very primitive creatures. Their blood is pretty much immune to any disease. Watch, it's going to try to right itself. It's not having the most luck. This one might be older. This is the time of year they come out to breed and lay eggs and stuff. So this one might, its energy resources might be spent. I'm sure all you guys hear is wind right now, and I'm sorry about that. It was the best I can do. But uh, I'm going to flip it back over. He's going to take off once we put it down. Yeah, so now what? Do you want a picture over there in the sunlight and then we'll put them over here? I think we should stay over here. Vehicle. You want a picture? Yeah. I don't remember what you said. Maybe, I, 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 not really, not with you holding it. No, I mean, I gotta set them down. It'll run. Okay. Well, okay, maybe set it here, but. Your shadow's bad, you need to be over there to get it. Sorry, it's just it's the way to do it. I would just feel awful if it ran into the street and got hit because I wanted to get a picture. Vehicle coming, so. Okay. <laughs> Check this, uh, check out that purple flower. See it? I'm gonna get him and put him on the other side. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Do they keep happening here? Yeah, I think so. There's a cluster on the right there. Good call. Oh, 
know, but I guess you have to wait until water comes down. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should do it a different way. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit.